Hello and good morning everyone. So now today we are uh, on page 139 USMLE step 1 2021 microbiological revision section. So we are talking about previously other than Listeria monocytogens which was a faculty team intercellular organism that were able to causing a many variety of diseases among them a neonatal meningitis, older people meningitis and immunocompromised patient meningitis was very common. Okay. Now coming moving on forward to the nocardia and actinomyces. This nocardia and actinomyces are the bug that usually cause infection. They are they both are the gram positive bacteria, but they are filamentous. So these resemble as a fungi. If you in an initial period period of time we thought that it is a fungi, but when we go through the genetical makeup, then we found it is resembling to bacteria. So we put it in the bacterial uh, um, <coughs> tree. So now nocardia and actinomyces, they both are the branching filamentous gram-positive organism and they cause different diseases. Like if you talk about the nocardia species, they are causing the disease of your brain, your lungs and your skin. So that this uh, mainly affecting the, uh, you can say, immunocompromised people, those who are taking like a steroid, who are going under um, any organ transplant, they have immunocompromised like the SIV, maybe in diabetic, uncontrolled diabetic patient. So these all are patients who are get infection with nocardia. Why these bugs are important? Because in the USA and all over the world now, the people on this immunosuppressive drug are increasing. The people with immunocompromised people are increasing. There are a lot of people with AIDS, there are a lot of people with cancer, there are a lot of people with organ transplant, there are a lot of people on uh, steroid due to the other dis different diseases. Okay, a lot of people have diabetes. So these people are now increasing and this organism are normally not uh, hampering the immunocompetent host. But if there is any immunocompromised, then they are becomes an active role. And it, the problem is that it doesn't get cured with the five or six or ten days of antibiotics. They, they usually require longer treatment like three months. Because of that, they become important, normally the nocardia. Why? If a person comes in infection with any infection, suppose a skin infection, lung infection, brain infection, but we, are, we usually give in the pyogenic infection in the normal bacterial infection for a five days, seven days, ten days, fourteen days of treatment. And overall, that is, that's all for the treatment of bacteria. And everybody gets this treatment when they get infection. But despite of that, people are not getting cured. And because of that, this organism, we have to, in that situation, we have to think about this organism, mainly nocardia. Okay, so let's move on and go through the text that they are both gram positive. We have talked about it and form a long branching filamentous resembling fungi. So we already know these are the filamentous bacteria and since fungi are the filamentous, they resemble fungi, but actually they are not fungus. Okay, there are two types, nocardia and actinomyces, both are gram positive. One is aerobic, nocardia is aerobic, whereas actinomyces is anaerobic. Another point is, they are, nocardia is weakly acid fast, but Actinomyces has doesn't anything related to any acid fast organism. What is acid fast actually? Acid fast are the organism that are usually doesn't get washed even after acid. Normally all bacteria if you stain and then wash with acid will easily wash away. Only the few bacteria like Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Mycobacterium leprae and this nocardia. And there are few parasite like coccidian parasite. So if you wash with the this is called acid fast because despite washing, it doesn't lose its color, the primary color. So mycobacterium tuberculosis, if you wash with the 20% acid, they are very concentrated, although it will not lose its color. In mycobacterium leprae, you wash with the 5% H2SO4, that is sulfuric acid. Despite of that, it doesn't lose its color. In nocardia, if you wash with 1% H2SO4, then it doesn't lose its color. So these are the acid fast organism. There are very few acid fast organism like microbiome tuberculosis, microbiome lep leprae, nocardia species and then parasite in the coccidian parasite. Okay, so this is very important point of view they, because they are acid fast whereas other bacteria like actinomyces are not acid fast. They are found in the soil but they are found as a normal flora of the oral reproductive and GI flora. So they are normal part of a normal flora. Causing pulmonary infection in the immunocompromised can mimic tuberculosis but negative with TT test, your tuberculin test, you can say PPD, that is purified protein derivative, which is used for the skin uh, testing of the tuberculosis. It is a delay hypersensitive reaction where you will found that if there is a tuberculosis, the patient will develop the swelling. But in this case, the patient will resemble the tuberculosis. They will have a clinical feature like tuberculosis, but if you test for the skin test, it will be negative because this vaccine doesn't have the tuberculosis bacteria. It has actually nocardial infection, okay? There might be a cutaneous infection and after trauma in immunocompetent 
and can spread to the CNS that leads to the cerebral abscess. So you have to think about there are three types of diseases that nocardia can produce. One is the lung infection, one is the brain cerebral abscess infection and another is the skin infection. And if there is a long standing infection, patient is not getting cured, you have to think of the branching filamentous acid fast organism, you should think about nocardia. Okay? The difference between <coughs> tuberculosis and nocardia will be there will be no other feature of tuberculosis. We will not find the evidence of tuberculosis like there will be a negative PPD test. If you do the TB quantifier test, TB will be negative. Okay, culture will be negative for tuberculosis, will for nocardia and culture. Okay. Now, <clears throat> talking about this uh, actinomyces, they are like cause orofacial abscesses that drain through the sinus tract, often associated with the dental caries, extraction, and other maxillofacial trauma. Forms such like sulfur granules can also cause pelvic inflammatory disease with intrauterine device. So, the problem is that they are normally present inside your body, they are in your mouth, they are in your reproductive system, they are in your GI flora, and where they will cause the disease, they will cause the orofacial abscesses. So, they will cause the nearby area, they will cause or orofacial abscesses that drain through the sinus tract, often associated with the dental caries and extracts and other maxillofacial trauma. In that, when you see actinomyces, there will be a granules, sulfur granules. So they are talking about the yellow granules discharged from the wound in around the face. Then you have to think about, oh, they are talking about the actinomyces. They are anaerobic. They usually grow in the anaerobic media like Robertson Cook meat media, thioclyclate broth. This is the aerobic organism. They are can usually grow in the aerobic medium like blood agar and in rich media. Okay. Now coming to the treatment they are can be treated the in nocardia can be treated with the sulfonamide although additional drugs combination drugs may required so the primary treatment the drug of choice is sulfonamides okay we're talking about the actinomyces they can be easily treated with the penicillin this will be the long-term treatment of the nocardiosis the actinomyces doesn't require a long-term treatment it will be easily treated with the penicillin uh, in few days 10 to 14 days you can get re recovered from the actinomyces but not with the nocardia Okay, treatment can be remembered with a SNAP that is sulfonamides for nocardia and actinomyces for the penicillin. So, let me remind, let me re recap it. These are the both are the gram positive filamentous bacteria. Okay, the question what are the point come in the question? They are aerobic, that doesn't matter. This is acid fast. If a bacteria saying acid fast, okay and have um, like uh, this is common flora like causing a lung infection, you will think okay it may be tuberculosis but they will say okay negative PPD. So you have to think about, oh, they are talking about the nocardia. Hmm? They can even cause your cerebral abscess. Then tuber TB, tubercular abscess in the brain is less common. Only they can ca cause you that patient get improved with the sulfonamides. Then you have to think, okay, TB doesn't get improved with sulfonamides. So they are talking about the dysnocardia species. Okay. Actinomyces, they are anaerobic organism. They are normal flora. They will cause the facial oral uh, diseases. Okay, they, they will not be a superficial infection. They will actually be in the like sinus tract and draining, orofacial abscess, deep abscess. They will be mainly responsible. And they use. They also can cause pelvic inflammatory disease with the patient with using intrauterine device. Then that you have to because these are also present in the reproductive system. Okay, so. That's all for this nocardia and ectomyces. So in the next chapter, we'll talk about the mycobacterium tuberculosis in the page 140. Okay, thank you.